are using cucumbers. You're about to watch the video I created called Lamia Delivers You ASMR. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Lamia. Anyways, if you'd like to be a part of the family and you're new here, and thank you for all the new people that have actually showed up, it really helps. Um, please go down below and, well, you know what to do. Just go down below, have fun, and come to the Discord server and a lot of other things like the Instagram, the TikTok, or whatever. Also, make sure to turn notifications on, and the Discord will also tell you this too because we do a lot of live streams or donation lives so if you do feel like helping out please come come ahead to the lives and you can donate it really helps out and yeah i'm sorry my work's been kind of slow recently i have more mainly focused on live streams i'm really sorry about that but don't worry i'm coming back and it's mainly all because i have been focusing on a new project shh don't tell anyone but it's going to be our year anniversary okay <laughs> Other than that though, I hope you're all having a great fucking day. I hope you're all so happy and doing everything great. I hope you enjoy the video and get some sleep, my little pug champ. <laughs> uh, it seems I smell human. Honestly, that's quite a surprise to me. Come on, where are you? You've got to be somewhere around here. <sighs> Your scent's almost intoxicating, honestly. I can't seem to get it out of my mind. I know this isn't the first time you've been here, little human. How about you come out? I promise I won't bite. <laughs> hmm. There you are. Hmm. What would a little human like you be doing so far into a forest filled with monsters? To me, it doesn't fully make sense of it, I suppose. I'm not very good at speaking to humans. You see, it's been centuries since I have stumbled across your kind. <laughs> but you do seem to be so fragile. Like I could just eat you up. Now tell me. What is it you're doing this far into the forest? Perhaps you were lost. Maybe you needed a friend. Or maybe there isn't a reason. You just needed a break. Or to run away. Are oh, you run away, my dear? I know humans can be unbearable to live with. I used to be one, you see. <laughs> no. But your village, probably from the direction where you came, they don't seem to like us very much. The monsters. You see, we used to be like them. Until one tragic day. <laughs> but we were all either executed or kicked out. I had swore I'd get my revenge one day. But sadly, I just grew tired of caring anymore. There's no point. I lost my chance long ago. You see, I am... I've been like this for... 300 years. Watching a lot of humans accidentally stumble into this forest. Ah, your hair. So beautiful. I could just grasp every inch of you. 
It is really intoxicating to see a human in so long. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to eat you. I promise. That would not do me any justice. You can trust me. I promise. I'm not going to hurt you. Do you trust me? Uh, my emotions might seem a bit bleak, my dear, but it's not my fault. You see, I don't usually speak to humans in such ways. Usually they disappear. <laughs> I'm actually surprised you made it. I'm actually surprised you made it this far. Most humans never have. Either every monster eats them before they get to here, or they find a way past all of it. Tell me, did you see any other monsters on the way here? Any other things that might give you happiness? You seem afraid, my dear. Please, don't be. I am not here to harm you. Other monsters, yes. They still want their revenge after what your place, or whatever you want to call it, village, town, done to us. We were used in an experiment. We were used as puppets for people trying to test out new things. You have witches hung for dark magic. We weren't. In fact, we were used as test subjects. They don't believe we're still here, though. They believe we all died out years ago. Although, some monsters do make it back. They find a way through the gates. They go to the villages. And they devour you all. I'm not like that, though. I come to live in peace. So tell me, what is your name, my dear? Ah, that is one beautiful name. I cannot lie. It is very old. Your name. It is surprisingly very old. Well, I used to hear the name a lot. Actually, which is weird. I'm not saying it's ancient. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's an old-fashioned type of a name. I remember hearing it a lot growing up. Uh, well, maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me. I've been in these forests for so long. I can barely decipher if I'm even had that human life. Do you know? It's not easy being here. Hey, take my hand. Follow me. Well, being on the ground is not such a good place for a little human like you. They can come and snatch you up. Drag you down. Remember there's monsters everywhere, even on my side of the forest. Yes, I might be queen of the lands, but I cannot help you when they decide to eat you and devour you. I mean, after all, your kind did steal the life away. <sniffs> so, please, come on up. Take my hand. Good. <laughs> your hands are so soft. It's a big surprise to me, honestly. Knowing a little human like you would come this far into a forest of evil. You seem so fragile. I could almost devour you. <laughs> you can taste this good too. No, don't be afraid. 
I'm not going to hurt you, I've already said. I have no intentions of eating you. I can eat any monster around here that I so choose. I mean, what's the point? I'd rather use you as my little toy, or my friend, depending on how I feel at the end. Mm. But I mean, hey, if you don't behave, I'll have to devour you. Do you understand? Good. Because if you didn't, well, I'd devour you. I don't know what your humans call us. I suppose we resemble snakes to you. But we're not. We're in a form of that way. Half human, half snake. Who cares, honestly? We invented a name here, but... There's no point telling you. You were raised with no specific name of us. Monsters. The things that hide under your bed at night when you need someone. The things that crawl out and eat you up. Like they carved me up. But that's okay. Because it's not your fault. It's mine. It's my fault for trusting humans like you. For loving such evil. No, darling, I'm not saying you're evil. I'm saying the people you choose to be around are. You actually seem like one of the good ones. I cannot lie to you. Every other human that's come here I have devoured. Inch by inch. And boy, I tell you this. The flesh tasted phenomenal. Every single inch of them. Well, I can basically extend my jaw, I suppose you could say, and devour a whole human. I don't need to eat them off little by little, no. It's easier to do it that way. Actually, some people like being devoured by us. That's why some people come out of here. Are you one of those people? Do you want me? to devour you, my dear. Mm. <laughs> I'm joking. Or am I? Who knows? <sighs> oh, you're so adorable. I just can't help myself, my dear. No, don't be afraid. It will only hurt a little bit. It's only tightening around you a little. Tell me how's it feel. Do you feel like you can't breathe? <laughs> That's how I felt when your village destroyed everything I cared about. But it's okay, I want you to ease into the pain. As it's crushing you. <sighs> Feels good, doesn't it? Do you want me to devour you? Look into my eyes. You will not scream. You will not move. You will only follow my orders exactly. If you ever run, I will devour you, every inch, but you must stay wrapped up in me for all eternity until I decide to let you go otherwise. Do you understand? Good. <laughs> now, go to sleep. And sleep well, my love. And I promise, if you move, <laughs> I'll 
let's just say it won't be so pleasant. Good night.